My name is Jenny Gatia. I fellowship at the Nairobi Baptist Church, Westlands, even though I began on Gong Road. And I've been at N in NBC for the last over 30 years, slightly over 30 years. I am a family lady. I have my adult children. And interestingly, I also have their blood mother. That happens to be my mother-in-law. That is the kind of family that I have at the moment. I love the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal savior, and I'm glad to share my experience with you uh, at this time about taking care of an elderly person. Taking care of an elderly person is a very interesting experience. Sometimes with the negative uh, side of it, another way, uh, there is also the positive side of it. But allow me to say, generally, taking care of an elderly person has never been a walk in the park. And so one requires to have certain qualities and attitudes. One has definitely to change their way of thinking about the elderly persons. I take care of my mother-in-law. She is 95 years old now, getting closer to 96 at the time of this recording. And I would say I've had the ups and downs. First of all, because this is not my biological mother, and you don't understand that taking care of an elderly person who is not also my biological mother has its own complexities. One, because we don't have uh, that kind of biological bondage, as I am putting it, and there are also other people who are interested in the same elderly person. Probably not interested to take care of them, but interested to see that they are taken care of, and they are not suffering, and they are not in pain, and they are feeding well, and they are living in a good environment. Sometimes there is so much pressure to do that. But let me narrow down to my experience with now my elderly parent. Now, uh, all the way, let me start by saying I took my mother-in-law 28 years ago. I've lived with her in the same house, doing everything together because there were certain circumstances that forced that to be, that I have to take care of her, particularly because my spouse, Mr. Gatti, happens to be the firstborn. And it was so automatic that the firstborn child, who is a son, has to take care of his mother. But ideally and practically, I am the one who will be in direct contact with the elderly person. So the first thing that gave me a very big challenge, I would call it a challenge, looking back, was to adjust to the lifestyle, to the behavior of my elderly mother, that time a little younger, at 65 years of age, now 95, as I have said. And I needed to mind about her welfare, understand her, how she was living before, because we were not living together. And what came into my mind was I needed to pray. I needed God's revelation to know how to handle her so that there is minimal conflicts. Conflicts were to be there, but minimize them to almost zero level. And that's what I did as a Christian. I had to pray, God, give me the strength, give me the patience, help me to know the words that I even need to use. As you know, with the parents, you have to be careful about the words that you use, because I didn't want to be in trouble of annoying her in a way that she would probably even say words that would affect me and my children. And my children were just very young. So I needed also to set that example that I'm taking care of their grandmother. And at some point they will learn how to take care of me when I age. So God gave me the patience. Patience is required. 
high level kind of patients. One has to change their attitude. I had to change my attitude towards an elderly person who is not my biological mother. And again, I also needed to understand the needs of elderly people, all the way from diet, dressing, their room, their bedroom, and all that. Getting them to connect even with the house help, who was also feeding them while I'm away, and all that. So that was a big challenge, and there was so much sacrifice. Living with an aged person means making a sacrifice in terms of space, in terms of resources. That is what I did. But I also realized she, need, she had spiritual needs that probably I'll be explaining. I have learned that taking care of an elderly person is a very big lesson that does not have a school curriculum. You never go to a school to be taught to take care of an elderly person. It is learning every day. It is kind of like aging with them so that I am able to connect because that connection is very, very important. If you do not con connect with them, and particularly when they begin to lose their memory, like my mother in law now is demented. Dementia is a serious memory problem because they will not be able to articulate things. They will not remember a few things and they keep on repeating themselves many times. So that is the challenge that I have now and I have learned a lesson of how even to come up with a way of making them, you know, stay awake, stay alive, stay thinking and also to strengthen their spirituality because that is definitely very, very important. And actually, I have learned that what I do to this elderly person is so important because it also allows others to learn from me. So I have learned great lessons that first of all, as stated out earlier, patience is key. Patience, patience, patience. And being prayerful because it's only God who can give one that kind of strength. And also trying to hold uh, some kind of you know, it can be very irritating, some, sometimes even very annoying. Sometimes it wears out, uh, you know, the strength that I have. But I have learned that I have to persevere. Resilience is very much needed. And all those kind of virtues, it is God who gives. So we have to constantly also pray that God give us the strength God give us what is needed to connect with the elderly person, and particularly when they get dementia. Uh, dementia is probably a challenge in itself that some elderly persons experience, I mean, go through, and they are definitely manifested, and it's a kind of burden that one has to carry if we are taking care of elderly persons. We want to see them peaceful, we want to see them happy, we want to see them fed well, and we want them to be settled nicely and particularly in a very peaceful manner. And also to take care that they don't get medical issues that may come as a result of the environment that they are living in, or probably because they are not fed well. All those are things I've learned that they are top on my list of things. God has taught me a lesson that one, my faith has been tested. The faith of that God will provide, even for the elderly person, because this person has become part of the family by extension. I have learned to be able to balance things, that God gives even the ability to balance between the demands of the aging person and the demands of the growing up children. And so having been sandwiched in that situation, I have learned to balance, to give with my right hand and also to give with my left hand. You know, sometimes uh, it sounds easy that we give with the right hand, but there are times both hands have to be working. And that is something God has taught me 
that I have capacity to do. And also God has helped me to realize that the spirituality of a person is also very important because this is what helps us to get also support by extension. The first thing I did was to make sure that my mother-in-law at 65 went to church. She had to belong to a community of worshiping Jesus Christ and worshiping God. So that was very, very helpful. And I would only say that it was through God's revelation that I had to take that stand. Since my mother-in-law was not going to church and she didn't really care much about that. But today, she is in church. She is in records of an Anglican church that is nearby where we live. And she is visited because that's where she could have fitted best given her age and considering that she wasn't also uh, well educated to be able to connect with certain standards of, of churches, you know, certain churches like where I am, Nairobi Baptist Church. Yes, not that she wouldn't have attended there, but it was best where she could also uh, be able to connect with people of her age and persons who are speaking also her language. And that became uh, very easy for me also to feel the support that was coming through her and I feel supported up to today. God has helped me to know that this is a ministry. Taking care of an elderly person is a little ministry that cannot be underestimated. It is walking a journey. It is giving service to that person like that is my little biological mother. It is giving service like I would do to my own child. And it is also learning to be patient and to wait upon God and to teach her how to pray with a lot of patience and to teach her how to fit in the family circle in a very, very good way that God has helped me. And God has also helped me to learn that I need to pray constantly. I need to pray that she will not fall sick. Many times, you know, with aging, there are those illnesses that are associated with aging. And also to be able to get her connected, as I've said, with other people, so that life goes on for her. So that is God-given. A message to those who are taking care of elderly persons could be directly your parent, biological parent, or by extension, but somehow you find yourself taking care of an elderly person. The first thing, you need to develop patience. You need to develop resilience. You need to have some perseverance, high levels of perseverance. You need to be determined. And you need to interpret that work as a ministry that God has given you to serve humanity, to serve a person. And you'll also be fulfilling the biblical command that we obey, we respect our parents, because that is a parent, ideally. Yes, by extension, you are obeying the word of God. And I've seen blessings because I would say, and I would encourage you, if you are taking care of an elderly person, you'll never lack. That is a promise from God. I see it that way. You'll never lack enough. Even when the person will get to the level of even using diapers, God will still provide, because that can also be quite an expense. God will provide enough space for you to live in. God will provide for all the basic needs that are needed. That is something that I've seen. And furthermore, by extension, God has blessed also our children. Probably, it could be as a result. I may not have a way of verifying that scientifically, but I think it is human enough to understand that you will be so blessed that fast you will still move on. Sickness, God will minimize it or bring it to zero level. First for that elderly person, then for you, 
who is taking care of the elderly. Somehow, if I fell sick to a point of I'm not able to take care of her, how would she be taken care of? Maybe that's the question. It's simple logic. So be encouraged. If you have an elderly person, do not give up. This is not time to give up. Obey God's word. The results are far beyond the pain of taking care of an elderly person. That is my message for you.